All right, let's check out the newspaper headlines this morning on Wake Up Nigeria. We'll begin from the Guardian newspaper, which says fresh anxiety as federal government disconnects 50 million on linked SIMs on September 14. Here we also have uh, Rep Member Wands, Lagos LP against illegal Congress, others. Beyond the facade, unveiling violence in Nigeria's peaceful presidential elections. Um, that's a news analysis in that paper, uh, talking about uh, the Guardian newspaper. Here uh, on the front page, Kaduna Balchi order residents to vacate flood-prone areas. Currency in circulation hits 4 trillion naira, defies CBN's monetary tightening measures. PDP crisis, Bode George advises Atiku to contest presidency in 2031 at 85 years old. NLC threatens indefinite strike as Ajero honors police invitation. Criminal justice acts ineffective seven years after MBA laments. Afeni Ferry seeks regional NYSC enforcement of Terrorism Prohibition Act. Now, here, there's a photo story here. Concerns as Abuja photographer uh, spends 10 months detention over intentional insults. That's in quotes. Okay, that, that has nothing to do with the photo, though. The photo has to do with the linked scene. Now, all of these stories and more you can catch in the Guardian newspaper this morning. From the Guardian newspaper, though, uh, we move uh, to the Daily Independent newspaper. And the Daily Independent has this as its major headline. If you must contest, wait till 2031, Bode George tells Atiku. And that has to do with the presidency. Says a southerner must occupy the position till 2031. You can't talk of 2027. 2023 has no benefits yet. And that's coming from Atiku's aid. Down here, we see Kano implements single central revenue accounts for MDAs. LG Fiscal Autonomy, Izion, legal luminary, flays the National Assembly over Supreme Court's judgment. Fitch ratings uh, sounds alarm on MPOX's fiscal threats to Nigeria, others. Nakon. Presidency decries financial impropriety of religious institution. Governor OT convenes Labour Party stakeholders meeting September 4. Nogasa tasks presidency on level playing field on crude oil sales. 16 burned in a road crash in Ondo. Here we also have uh, this headline. To avert as to strike, federal government raises committee to review unions' demands. Meets union September 6 after deadlocked meeting. Down here, we see Tinubu appoints Akinde Uzokpala to board of BOI. Up here, we see NCC announces final deadline for NIN SIM linkage compliance. And there's also Plateau Assembly reduces elected local government officials' tenure to two years. Hmm, interesting that. All of these stories and more you can catch in the Daily Independent newspaper this morning. Now from the Daily Independent, we head straight to the Punch newspaper. And the Punch newspaper has this as its major headline. Government plans evacuation, evacuation camps as flood hits 28 states. Flooding affects 133 local governments areas 526,703 persons, Tinubu promises aid. A bankers committee completes restoration of national theater. I find that really impressive. There's the photo story on the front page of the Punch newspaper. You may want to check that out yourself. And still on the front page, we have NLC plans mass procession as Ajayro honors police invitation today. Atiku Bode George disagree over 2027 presidential ambition. All of these stories and more you can find on the front page of the Punch newspaper this morning on Wake Up Nigeria. Now, I should let you know that we are going straight to the Daily Trust newspaper. And the Daily Trust newspaper has this as its major headline. Flooding kills over 170 in 15 states. 107,600 and 652 hectares of farmland, 80,000 
and 49 houses destroyed. Nema warns of severe incidents in September, October. Tunubu urges a speedy action on environmental concerns. Up here, we have kidney harvest. Federal government suspends doctor accused in daily trust report. NCC sets September 14 as final deadline for seam NRN linkage. Fresh diphtheria outbreak claims 40 lives in Kano State. Contract scams, Kano government orders closure of MDA's accounts. Abuja, how serving naval officer killed man stole his jeep. Strike, federal government asked you to reconvene on September 6. And here there's also NACON needs uh, systemic reforms that's coming from the presidency. All right, all of these stories and more you can catch in the Daily Trust newspaper uh, this morning. And with that, we've come to the end of the newspaper headlines on Wake Up Nigeria. We'll take a break. We'll be back to stay with us.